Okay, so to start, first you have to make sure that the size is the same size as your hoop. So in this case, you go to document properties here, and then custom size, uh, type in form, and form for width and height, and make sure the unit is in inches. Okay, so this is your area that you should digitize in. And then next, we should get an image of the thing that you want to digitize. I will digitize a Hello Kitty. So I just googled Hello Kitty and I found this image. And then I'm going to copy the image and then paste it in like this. Okay. I'm going to keep this short and simple, so I'm going to digitize the head here. Um, if you want to know the size, you could do this. Click on this ruler. Hold down your mouse. And in this case, it will be 43 millimeters, so that's about 4.3 centimeters. And then the height is yeah, 3.5 centimeters. That's pretty good. I think that's a good size for my embroidery. Okay, so first I'm going to press on this tool right here, and then I'm just going to start tracing it out. Uh, click on this node, hold control on your keyboard, and then scroll up with your mouse wheel. Um, so I'm just going to do this many nodes for now, so you can see I've selected these nodes as they're highlighted in yellow. And I'm going to make them into curves. Okay, and then now it's sort of curved, which is what we want. Oh, and then this node is a bit weird, so I'm going to turn this back into the corner node. Okay, yeah. And then for here, I'm going to add a node by double clicking here. And then I'm going to curve it as well, just this one right here. Okay, I'm going to curve this node as well. Okay. And then, um, yeah, so this part, this part right here, um, it doesn't really matter what you do with it, is I'm going to create another layer with a bow over this white part, so you don't have to worry about this part right here. I'm going to go into objects right here. I'm actually going to turn the opacity down a little bit. Um, yeah, this much. I guess next I'll do the eyes. So let's do black. And then copy and paste that. Control C, Control V. And then I'm going to digitize the bow. Okay, let's change. So in fill and stroke, you go fill, you want to change it to red. This color. And then we don't want to stroke, so X out that. And then, okay, we have to curve up the lines. So for here, let's press on this. And then let's also curve it here.
Okay, let's go back to the objects. Or you could just duplicate this. And then I'm going to press on the cursor right here. And I'm going to flip it horizontally and flip it vertically. Okay, and now we have the other side. Perfect. And let's line it up. Okay. Perfect. So let's select these three paths right here. So if you want to select them, you hold control and then click on each one. And then we want to combine these. So we go path and then we press on union. And now we have one full bow. Like this. Okay. So for this outline, this black outline here, let's create a fill for it. So it should be white, but because I want to see what I'm doing, I'm just going to temporarily change it to a different color, like a light orange for now. And then I'm going to erase the stroke paint by clicking in the stroke and canceling the stroke paint. Okay. And then we can see this part here doesn't really look correct, so let's fix that up. Go back to objects, select on this. Okay, for now, let's just make the bow invisible. So you press this I button and it will disappear. And then I want you to click on your cursor. Let's, let's also make this... Let's lock this. So that way we won't be able to select it anymore. And then let's select everything using the cursor. And then we will go to Path. And then click on Extrusion. The reason I do exclusion and not just have it overlap is because I feel like that's better for the embroidery machine to not have that many overlaps of thread. That's why I'm doing this. So now we will fill in these holes right here, which is really simple. We just do this. And then control scroll. Just copy and paste that. Press this. Press on the cursor and then paste it out. So I, I'll show you what's more, but okay, let's make this block okay, Let's do it for the other eye. Control, scroll up on your mouse wheel, and then control C. Click on this cursor, select outside of the image, change it to black, and then this, okay. And then just once more for the nose. Okay, no. Snap it back. Perfect. Okay, and then we could make the bow visible again, like this. Okay, and then let's just finish this little ear part. Click on this pencil icon. Let's adjust the nodes. Um, let's adjust this one first. Smooth it out. Okay. And like this. Okay, now let's press on fill in stroke and then press on this button right here, flat color. Um, yeah, let's just click on this color right here. And then for stroke paint, we don't want stroke paint, so we press no paint. And then we want to push this down one layer underneath the bow, so we could go here and press on this button to move it down. Okay, and now it's moved down, and yeah, this is essentially it. Um, I'm just gonna make this invisible. And then for this part, I'll just make it like an off-white, so you can see 
Okay, so we click on, we right click on the object, select same, fill color. Now these two fill colors, they're the same color, and we wanted to just stitch it out one after the other. Yeah, one after the other. So let's just group it. Um, we could change the name by double clicking on this. Okay, so this, the eyes will be black, and this is the nose, I'm just going to move it all the way up. Okay, and now if you want to preview your work, uh, you go extensions, ink stitch, visualize and export, and then simulator. Now it will simulate what will happen when you put it into your embroidery machine. I'm just going to skip ahead. Okay, we're going to click on realistic. And this is it. Okay, mix it up. So there's one thing I forgot to do. Usually, for the stitch angle, I like to alternate the angles, so this should go one angle, and then this red color should go the other angle. Um, I'll show you. Um, so for this white color here, let's select it. And then if we go extensions, ink stitch, params. Um, for the angle, I'm going to change it to like the diagonal angle, so 60. Okay, and let's apply. And then for this red color here, I'm going to make it the opposite. So if it's going 60, it could be, it doesn't have to be exact, but I add, I would add 90 degrees to it, so it's like stitching out in the opposite angle. So 60 plus 90 is 150. Let's find quick. Okay. And then click outside, or you can select everything. Extensions, ink stitch, visualize and export, and then simulate it again. Okay, so now you see it's going this way, the angles of the stitch. Let's skip through. And yeah, and now this is going in the opposite direction, which is what we want. And then for the eyes, eyes and nose, I'm also going to change it to 150 stitch angle. So let's select these extensions, rounds. Um, let's also do the iron quick. One thing I forgot to show you is that you have to export it in, into the correct format of your embroidery machine. Um, in my case, I have a brother machine and they use PES files. So if you want to save it as a PES file, you click on Save As. And then I'm just going to name this Hello Kitty. One. And then Save As type. I'm gonna click on click on this, look for PES right here, and then I'm gonna save it somewhere that I will remember. Yep, 
and now it's been saved and then the last step is you would save it onto a USB but I will also recommend saving this as a SVG so that if you want to make any changes later you can do that because if you saved it just as a PES file you won't be able to make any modifications to it afterwards so let's save this as an SVG save and that's it okay and that is it and then okay the next part of the video I will stitch it out and show you how it looks So as you can see here, it's not quite perfect. Um, definitely, the lighting. Definitely, this side of the embroidery could be improved on. But you guys should make it more pointed, maybe. And this, this part of the face, the roundness looks a bit off. But yeah, this is honestly quite normal. It's very hard to digitize things correct on the first try. Um, but it's not bad. Not bad for a first try, I would say.